Welcome to Lecture Online, and here's another interesting problem for us that we're trying to solve. Ultimately, we're trying to find the length of this side right here, x. And yes, there are various ways in which we can do this. We can probably use uh, geometric concepts uh, in order to solve the problem, but what we're trying to do here is just simply use trigonometric identities to try and solve this problem. So what, we're, what we should do is find out as many sides as we can. Because ultimately, if you look at this large outside triangle, if we just know one of these other sides, we should be able to figure out what x is equal to. And uh, we can probably do that by taking the inside triangle right here. So let me use a different color. So first what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this inside triangle, this one right here, and use that to find this distance here. And let's call this distance a sub 1 call this triangle number one. It's always good to separate your triangles. So we're going to find this distance right here. Let's try that. And so when we're looking at that, we're looking at this angle right here. This is the hypotenuse because it's opposite to the, to the right triangle. This is the adjacent side here. So we're actually looking for the hypotenuse. So maybe I'll write that down, equals to h1. So looking at this green triangle, here's the right angle, 90 degrees. The side opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. Sometimes it's difficult to see that. Your brain just kind of twists things around, so we have to be very careful here. Here's our angle, which makes this the adjacent side and this the opposite side. So we know the opposite side, and we're looking for the hypotenuse. What function, what trigonometric function relates the opposite side and the hypotenuse? That would be the sine of the angle. So for triangle number one, we write that the sine of the angle theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. And since we're looking for the hypotenuse, this would be h1, h1 equals the ratio of the opposite side to the sine of theta. All right, now all we have to do is plug in the numbers that we know. So we know the opposite side, which is 10. So h1 equals 10 divided by the sine of theta. That would, in this case, be the sine of 30 degrees. Now the sine of 30 degrees is equal to 1 half. So that means h1 equals 10 divided by 1 half. Divided by 1 half is the same as multiplying times 2, so h1 equals 20. All right, so this equals 20. Now, let's take a look at the outside triangle. Let me use a, a different color. And so now looking at the outside triangle like this. So that's triangle number 2. That's the red triangle. Uh, maybe just so that we don't confuse it. Let me just put the 2 in here like that. So now we're talking about the red triangle. Notice we now know this side right here, which is the adjacent side to the red triangle. We know this angle and we're looking for the opposite side, x, of the red triangle. Okay, what geometric function relates the opposite side and the adjacent side to the angle? That would be the tangent of theta. So in this case, for triangle number two, we're going to use the e equation, the tangent of theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. All right, and in this case, we're looking for the opposite side. X is the opposite side, and the adjacent side is known that is equal to 20. So here we can say that the tangent and the angle would here would be 30 degrees is equal to the opposite side, which is X, divided by the adjacent side, which is 20. In this case, we're looking for X, so we'll rearrange that equation. So we have X is equal to 20 times the tangent of 30 degrees. So x is equal to 20 times, at this point, we're going to need a calculator. So we have 30, take the tangent of that, which is 0.577, so 0 0.577. And so therefore, x is equal to that times 20. And we get, whoa, let me try that again. 30, take the tangent, times 20 equals. So it would be 11.55. And that's the final answer we're looking for. So notice, sometimes it's very confusing, especially when the angle is small, to see which is the hypotenuse, which is the adjacent side, which is the opposite side. It helps to use your colors. It helps to do the labeling. So when we're talking about triangle number one, we're looking for this side right here. Since this is opposite to the right angle of the green triangle, that therefore is the hypotenuse. And we're looking for that in relationship to the opposite side and the hypotenuse, which is the sine. Using the red triangle here like this, we have the angle right here. We're looking for the opposite side to the angle, and we know 
this side right here, which is the adjacent side. So we're looking for a function that relates the opposite and adjacent side, which of course is the tangent of theta. And that's the way you work yourself to these problems. It's not always quite obvious how to start. There's multiple ways of doing this kind of problem. You can find other solutions to that, but hey, this is one and it works. So let's say that that's how we do it.